Hello and welcome to Mad Gigabit Hosting. This is Mad Gigabit. Hey, I wanted to show you guys how to set up your 5M server. Now, this is going to be both QB Core and ESX in addition to the regular vanilla. So, whenever you order your server, everything has to be manually set up. And I apologize if there was some wait for the Network Ops team to get this set up for you. We do this to comply with all the terms of service. Um, our VPSs are not automated. We don't sell automated pre-installed servers. We do everything for you on our end. So, one of the links you're going to get is the link here to your panel. This is the game server panel. It is https connect.madgigabit.com colon 5657. This is our private game server panel. And then you're also going to have a regular HTTP, not HTTPS. These are the links that you will get. And this is gonna be your dedicated port number for TX admin. So first, um, how about we log into your game server? So whenever you log into your game server panel, you're going to see this. If you log in and you see all of this at the very bottom, you should see down here uh, your servers. If you click down here, you're going to see um, and after you click on it, your your server. Um, this one here is a 5M server. You'll have your IP address. This IP address is the one you will connect to through 5M. You'll see your CPU, your memory, your disk uh, in the current status. You can start, restart, or stop it. Whenever you log in, this is the first thing you will see. Is this here already? Please access. And this is going to be the, the uh, port that you connect to for TX admin, whatever is listed here and in the email. So the first thing we need to do is log in TX admin. We see this is 9957. Uh, for the pin so we come over here we do 9957 and we link the account and what this is going to do is let's see here i think that this this is yep this is my old 5m account good old medic Adivan. so you log in to cfx after you punch in that four digit master pin and then i'm just going to set up some random password here Make sure you click I have agreed to the CFX TOS and the TX admin license. Make sure you do that. Click create the master account. When you create the master account, this is basically telling CFX how you're going to set up your account. What type of server do you want? So for step one, we click next. For this, we're going to do uh, a test server. Here's where you would punch in your... Um, your server name. I think it's limited to like 24 characters. So we'll just say a gigabit test. Okay. Punch in your server name or initials, whatever. You click next. Now, here is where it will get a little confusing. You have custom template, remote URL template. These are more advanced. Let's say you're migrating your server to us. You would click local server data. And you would actually come back over to the game panel, click file manager. And this is your container. Click TX data. And you would upload your zip file of your uh, pre existing server. So let's say you're coming from Zap Hosting. And let's just say it's called CFX uh, old. Okay, for example, CFX old. This is the folder where you would have your files okay and what you would do is you would come in and you would punch that in here and this is going to be your your local server uh, folder this is only if you are migrating old server files over this is more advanced typically you will come in here and you will click popular template here you will have QB Core Framework, CFX, and Zap Hosting. CFX default, when you see this, so let's say you want a bare bones server, bare bones, and you want to start developing. You don't want QB Core, you don't want to deal with the database, you don't want to do any of that. So you'll click CFX default, and you just click save. You don't do anything. Okay. Now, let's say we don't want that. Um, you know, let's say we, we don't want to do that. 
So we come over here and we get back to where we were. Let's say you want a QB core. You click popular template. You come down here to QB core, select QB core, click save and click go to uh, uh, the deployer. Just screw it the whole way down, click next. And let's say, you know, we're just gonna, um, we're just going to use a, a test here. Um, let me go ahead and, and pull one of these up. It's not going to be any, anything that we need to, uh, be concerned about because it's just literally a test and we're going to read gen this, but let's say we just punch in this. You will go to the key master to get your, um, to get your, um, thing here you to get your license key because it's going to ask you for one so what you need to do is come to keymaster.5m.net and it's going to ask you to sign in again and it's going to want you to sign in with your um with your cfx account and then you can punch in one of these now here is for qb core qb core requires mysql you need to click this, show high database options. You're going to see a bunch of these options. Don't click run recipe. It's not going to work. You need to come over here to your game server panel. You need to then click on your server. Come to databases. Databases is right here. You will click new database. And all you do is just type in, uh, let's just say QB core and click create. We now have this. This is the database name. This over here is database name. Click this little eye icon next to a trash can, and this is gonna have your username and password. This is all you need. So what we do for database host, it's sql.madgigabit.com. That's it. Your username, you're going to come over here and copy your username. Your database password is right below. You can click that. You can also rotate your passwords. You know, you can even do this, which I find is interesting. So, you know, let's just say we find one that we like and we're like, oh, hey, this looks neat. Cool. We punch that in. We click close. Copy your database name. Replace that with this and click run recipe. It took. You see that it took, if you do not follow these steps, it's going to fail. And you're going to ask, you're going to try to create a ticket and say, what did I do wrong? We want this to be as smooth as possible for you to set up your server. Again, what we have went over in this video is if you were importing your old server, you have to upload it upload your TX data folder from your old host into us. And then you just copy that container URL, basically that, that all those files, uh, file paths, import that. A regular vanilla uh, general 5M server runs very well with just this simple install. This, however, is your QB core. And as we come over to console, we'll see that it's actually syncing everything over between TX admin and then here. Once this is installed, I want to show you guys what you have to do to ensure that you have no issues. Because remember, um, we, we want to make sure this is as smooth as possible. Once this is done, click next. You're going to see this here. It says configure server.cfg. You need to do one important task these you need to go back to here and look at the the port that you're assigned for our test server it's 30131 30131 you need to replace that in here otherwise your server will not start it's going to fail you need to do that click save and run server okay you got to make sure that you do that. This here is your, your TX admin. 
and everything syncs between the two of these. These work hand in hand. The other thing that you're going to see as an issue if you run QB Core is that you're going to run into a aux MySQL error. It says error access denied for user da 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 da. We have identified a problem with the aux MySQL plugin. What's happening is you can only have letters and numbers in the MySQL server password. It is best to open a ticket and we can fix that for you. That's going to be your best way. Now, if for some reason you cannot do that, what you can also do is what may be quicker is if you go to SQL dot mad gate right down here. So if you go to my uh if you go to SQL dot mad gigabit dot com colon seventy five hundred slash PHP my admin. That's it. So this is literally all you go to is this link right here. SQL dot mad gigabit dot com colon seventy five hundred. And then you punch in the PHP my admin at the very end. It's gonna prompt you for this. So Again, go over to here. You're going to see your username. Copy that. Take your password. Punch that in. Click sign in. You're going to be able to sign in here. When you sign in, you will come over to... Um, Believe, believe it's under settings here to where we can actually change your uh, your username for you. Right here. So click the home button. It should be right here. You can click change password. Again, you only want letters and numbers. Okay? So like this one. This one here is all letters and numbers. We copy that. Copy, paste, paste. We click go. That has been updated. The one that you just copied, please, please, please do this. Please come over here to TX admin. Please click CFG editor. And then what you're going to have is you're going to have this MySQL connection string. I'm going to say MySQL colon slash slash. This is the username. Okay. Then it does colon and the password up to the at symbol. So the way it works is, is this. It's username colon password. And then it's at the host, which is sql.madgigabit.com slash your database. So when this was like that with random letters and, and symbols and stuff, go from the at symbol back to the colon. So should be this because we just changed the password. Click save file and restart the server. And when you restart, you can click live console. And we should see that the... Ox MySQL has been fixed. As this loads up, it's going to load Ox MySQL, which it did. And we see that script Ox MySQL database server connection established. So again, if you run into an error with the MySQL database, you need to connect to this address SQL dot my uh, sorry SQL dot mad gigabit dot com forward uh sorry colon 7500 forward slash php my admin and log in with the details you got here that you punched in to tx admin you could even change your password before installing but i would suggest just doing it afterwards it just makes it easier 
You then therefore can log into your server using this address here, connect.madgigabit.com and then your port at the very end. If you have any issues, please hit up the Discord or open a ticket, but this should get you going. If you use QB Core, you are going to need to change your, your MySQL password to just letters and numbers, no symbols, just letters and numbers, and you're able to log in. Stay tuned for the next video on how to add resources into your server. Thank you.